Hello and welcome back to our unofficial guide to vMix course. In this video, we're going to be talking about shortcuts, one of the easiest ways to optimize your video production workflows using your keyboard, using a Xbox controller and many different USB connected devices that can perform any function inside of vMix with any input. So let's take a look. So here we have vMix next to me, and I'm going to go to the bottom right of this screen to access the shortcuts. It looks like a little four box setup there. So four boxes, very simple. And when we do that, we have the ability to open up this controller. Now these shortcuts are accessible via the web controller. So that's why that button's there. And it's a simple way to get to it. But let's hit edit first, and it's going to bring up all of the shortcuts that we have available to us. So in the shortcuts area, it's going to, it'll really show you what shortcuts you have with a keyboard, with a MIDI device, with a Surface, with a Shuttle Pro, all these different options. And you can even load up templates. So this is really cool. It actually will show us what shortcuts we have on a keyboard, but it will also show you a template, let's say for this Xbox controller that a lot of people like to use for PTZ camera control. So very cool. Uh, you can you know load up all of your presets just like that, all of your shortcuts. But for now, let's just add a couple simple ones so you can get the hang of how this works. So one that I really like is the space bar for cut. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we just hit the find button. We found the space bar to confirm that that's what we are calling the space bar. The function is going to be cut and that's it. We're going to cut from the preview screen and we're just going to call this simple cut. Now, why do we put a title in here? Because it will show in the web controller. So that is a really cool feature that I want to show. It is that basically this little web controller here at this web address, whoops, uh, will show uh, every shortcut that we add. So I click it and you can sort of see in the background there that it's doing a simple cut. Um, so we'll take a better look at that. But essentially, now that I've done this, I have the ability to quickly and easily basically show do cuts with the space bar. So I can do cuts with the space bar now, that's great. And I can do it with the web controller. So that's the basis of what we're talking about today. Let's show a couple extra uh, really great ideas for using shortcuts. So here's another one here that I really like. This one is called, um, let me just make sure that updates, there we go. Um, would be, let, let's show an overlay. And we'll use a ch ch title three here is a great one. So one of the things I like to do is I like to uh, use numbers one, two, three, four. Again, this is totally up to you, but if we hit number one, I use that for channel one. And sometimes I'll use it for specific scenes, but right now let's just show this and we'll go to the overlay tab here. And we're gonna overlay input one with this title. And we're just going to call this title one. And again, that will update as soon as we click OK. That will update here as well. So if we go to our shortcuts now, you can see we have title one there. I guess we got rid of our cut. Let me add, let me add back our cut there with the space bar. Let's go to cut. Let's reverse slide. Let's go to cut. Sorry. Simple cut. Click OK. Now we have two, two there. And go to our web browser here. And then you see we got both of them there. There we go. All right. Now, when we hit number one, as we mentioned, it will go overlay input one, uh, overlay input one, right? That should maybe say overlay channel one. And it will bring up title three. And as you know, every input has a number. So the third input, let's go ahead and click OK here, is this title here. When I hit number one, it goes overlay in channel one. 
See that? Pretty cool. So it doesn't matter where I'm, where I'm at or what I'm doing. I hit number one. It overlays in channel one. So in a case study in the book, we talk about some really cool opportunities to give people on your video production team the ability to remotely control a few of these shortcuts. So that's in a nutshell what you can do with shortcuts. You can add them here. You can control them over a web controller. And you can find any, any key from any MIDI controller or anything like that, any joystick controller. You do need to set up your MIDI controllers to enable them first. But once they're set up, um, you can use them. As long as they work with Windows, you're good. So that is how to use shortcuts. It's a pretty quick uh, demonstration. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you enjoy these shortcuts. They should make your video productions go smoother. All right, there's a whole chapter explaining it in the book. So take a look at that and we'll get on to our next video.